To return to the Imo State Government House as the governor finally hit the rocks as the Supreme Court affirms its earlier decision which sacked him as the governor of the state. Arguing his client's case, Mr. Kano Agabi informs the courts that the judgment that installed Senator Hopu Zodima was obtained by fraud, having misled the court into believing that he suffered unlawful exclusion in 388 polling units. He insists that the court has the inherent power under the Constitution to reverse itself. Lawyer to Senator Hopu Zodima, Mr. Damian Dodo, however, disagrees with the submissions of Mr. Agabi as he explains that the EPS court lacks the jurisdiction to sit on appeal over a judgment it has delivered. After argument from the parties, Justice Lukaya Deruola delivers the majority verdict affirming the court's earlier decision which sacked Mr. Meka Hedioha as the governor of Imo State. In a minority judgment, Justice Chima Nweze disagrees with the majority verdict as he affirms the Court of Appeals decision which upheld Ehedioha's victory, adding that the EPS court in the January 14, 2020 judgment wrongly declared Senator Hope Uzadima as the winner of the election. Although Mr. Kano Agabi was unavailable for comments, lawyers for Senator Hope Uzadima and Einek shared their thoughts on the judgment. I thank the Supreme Court for being firm on its decision. The dissenting judgment, we also listened to it. The, what was before the court was like a fresh reply to petition, and the facts put forward will have amounted to hearing the petition all over. Thank God the majority of, uh, decision of the Supreme Court app appreciates this and declined to be drawn into sitting on appeal about his own decision. All the justices, each one of them has his own mind to determine each issue brought before them. That's what played out today. The judgment, the decision here was uh, six to one. Uh, the fact that the six justices agree to dismiss the application does not stop Justice Unweze from uh, writing his own dissenting uh, judgment. But then, simply put, the decision of the majority, a decision that will be executed. The judgment of the EPS court finally lays to rest the issue of who is the authentic winner of the governorship election in Imo State. For Governor Hopu Zodima, whose victory was again reaffirmed by the Apex Court, the position of the Supreme Court reflects the true feelings of the people of Imo State who voted for him during the March 9, 2019 governorship election. He commends the judiciary for standing by the truth while promising that his administration will continue to deliver good governance and prosperity to the people of the state. Well, I the judgment represents the expectations and the mandate of our people. It will give glory to God that at the end of the day, truth came out. And we commend the wisdom of the Supreme Court in standing by the truth. We dedicate uh, the victory to Almighty God. And it is my hope that God will give me the way with uh, the wisdom and knowledge to do that which he will take glory. Amen. So uh, I invite uh, all Imo citizens, sons and daughters, home and abroad, to come, let us team up to take our state to the next level. Well, in this business, you must uh, issue the spirit of sportsmanship. It's not every time you win. It's also not every time you lose. When you win, you carry the losers along. When you lose, you follow those who won. So my advice to them is to come and bring the ideas. Let us team up. Create a signage that will develop your state and bring support to our people.